this is Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I want to give you the basics of 3D letters today. Um, we're not going to be doing any crazy things, like any decorative things, but just more of how do I align things? How does it work? So I brought in the letters S I X to do six, right? So something simple, just three letters. So we can get a feel for how it works, how to resize things, um, and do some basic decorative things. <laughs> All right. So, um, I bought this file. You can also buy from design space. So if you wanted to, and you, you weren't ready to commit to buying a full set because I bought this on Etsy. So the full set was, I want to say $18, but that included every letter and every number as well as some symbols, <clears throat> the symbols I haven't even looked at. So I don't even know what's included in that, but, um, that was kind of the deal. Now, design space, each letter or number is $2, but if you have access, it's half off, so a dollar. Um, so that would still be $26 for each letter and then the numbers too. So I feel like, you know, with Etsy, um, I've also seen a comparison from one of my subscribers. She showed me what it, what the design space looked like and what this designer looked like. This one is Quintara Namala Quintella. I'll make sure it's posted in the comments, but um, she showed it to me side by side and the design space is thinner. So depending on the kind of look that you want, um, I'll show you the difference in my Instagram so you can see. But um, so anyway, so I bought this. I really like it so far. Um, I like just having, paying it one time, having all the numbers and letters that I need. All right, with that being said, here's SIX, right? And you can see, like you can't tell like how big things are. This one says it's 21 inches across and 8.3 down, but you know the S is much smaller. This one has three tabs that you need to fold. This one only has two because it's the letter I and it's easy. And here's X. So what you wanna do is you wanna ungroup each one, okay? So let's ungroup this for a second. And really what you want to do is you still want to keep everything in line, but so that you can resize everything, right? But if you do it like this, so the three are together, but the S is, um, is what's dictating the height because right now the height is, um, eight inches, right? But actually it has these little marks. So we want to get rid of those marks because we can tell from this how to fold the S. This is just telling us, okay, here's a triangle. The triangle goes here. It starts here, um, which means the next piece, you have three little ones. So that would be one, two, three. So it tells you kind of the direction that it goes, but we can do this without this. So I'm going to get rid of all the little markers. So just go over to the right and delete all of these. I've actually yet to use the markers, so I'm just gonna delete them from all of all of it here. Okay, so we've gotten rid of everything. So this right now, our S is basically five inches high, so that's gonna help us resize everything, okay? So let's, ooh, my voice. <laughs> the eye, the eye looks like it's okay because the eye is five and a half inches, and then here's this. So interesting, five and a half inches. So they're very close in size. Let's look at this one. Let's ungroup this. Let's move this down and this over. And let's look at our X. So our X, so they're all at about five and a half inches. So if you wanted to make this six inches, what you can do is you wanna grab each letter one at a time, but you wanna grab all of the tabs that go with it because we wanna make sure that it gets sized proportionately with our letter, right? So let's say we wanted to make each one of these six inches. So you would just go to the height, type in six and hit the tab key. This will resize everything in S to make it six inches. Then we'll go to our I, we'll grab everything again, go to height and change this to six inches, as well as our X. And we'll change that to six. Okay, and that's basically how you resize all of the letters to make sure that they will be equal when you put them side by side. 
Now, um, one of the things that I see a lot is maybe half the X is one color and then the bottom X is another color. So we'll sh I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So let's ungroup the letters. So this is our top, top X and bottom X. That's why there's two of them, right? So what I would do is I would take a square and so we know this is six inches, so in half would be three inches, right? Or in this case, right where it lines up in the middle. But we can change our width to three inches, okay? And let's see if it's, what you can do to make sure that you're right there is we can grab these two, the square and the X, and go to align and align bottom. So we know that they're both at the bottom at the same um, same place. Then what you wanna do is, let's grab this um, square, change, the, um, change it to unlock, because we wanna make the width, let's make the width 10, just so that it covers the entire bottom half of the X, okay? All right, so now we can grab the X and the square and slice. And the reason why you want that is so that now you can break up this X and you can make this bottom half, you can make it purple. And then this top half, you can make it blue if that's what you wanted, okay? So that's how you're gonna do that. Now, if you wanted a little bit, I don't know what you call it. I know when we create the, the outline, it's an offset. I don't know, is the, when you create one that's smaller, is it an inset, an insert? I don't know. But the way you would do that is, there's a couple ways. The, if you don't wanna go into Inkscape, I'm gonna show you how to do the eye, cause the eye is easier to do. So what, you, what I would do is take a square, and we're gonna eyeball this a little bit, okay? So here's our square. We're gonna unlock it, because we're gonna change it into a rectangle. And, you know, I'm just gonna make this bigger so that we can see the eye better. Okay, so here's our eye. So this is easier to do because it's basically just three rectangles. One across here, one down here, one across here, right? So let's look at this and see where we wanna create our insert. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Okay, um, eyeballing that, that looks good. So let's duplicate that. We're gonna bring that one to the bottom here. Then uh, we can duplicate this one and change it this way. Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> let's unlock this so that we can make it wider. And that, to me, eyeballing looks good. You wanna hit the shift key, grab your three rectangles. And you can tell that we grabbed it because in our right-hand panel here, it is also um, a darker gray, right? And then we wanna weld it. So here's our little insert, okay? Um, the real way to do it is through Inkscape, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But if you really were hesitant about going into Inkscape, you can do it this way. Um, what else can we add on to here that would, um, I feel like that's it. The rest that you can do is you can bring in things, right? So let's say you wanted to bring in a cupcake. Um, so let's type in cupcake under images. And this looks like a cute little cupcake. So let's bring that in. If you wanted to add it to your S for instance, um, let's see, where does this pop up? Okay. So since we've already sized our S, you wanna size, resize your cupcake so that it um, fits well in this S. Let's say you wanted to do the S, the cupcake here, and you wanna add other things. That's how you would add it, and you would just kinda eyeball it, make sure that this cupcake um, is, the size is, you're happy with it in comparison to the S. <laughs> I'm not looking at this to say, oh, it should be three inches. I'm looking at it to say, okay, it looks good. It's proportionate to this S because this S is sized already with the I and the X, okay? Um, all right, 
So that's kind of all that I have. Now with this designer, when we go to make it, uh, you can see where we have an issue. So these dotted lines, they're gonna, they're gonna be cut lines, okay? So when you go to make it, I already know that we're gonna have an issue because I've worked with this design before. Do you see how the, um, the little cut lines are all gone? They're actually here on a random page that they're gonna be cut on. We don't want that, right? So you wanna cancel out of it. You wanna make sure that it is attached to each one of these items. So for instance, let's scroll over for a second. Oops. This first one, you wanna do it for each one, okay? You grab it and you wanna attach it. So we're basically saying, not only are we cutting all of this, all the dotted lines are gonna cut on this particular piece. So again, on this one, we're also gonna to wanna to attach it. And then I'll do it for the S so that you can see what it looks like. So we'll attach it and then we'll go to the Make It screen. So on the Make It screen, the ones that we have attached, they are, let's see, where is it? Not here, here. So you see on these three pieces for the S, they are attached. These we haven't done, so they're still showing up here as cut lines on a random page. Okay, so you wanna make sure you do that. Okay, so those are all our letters. Here's our insert. Here's, the diff here's our X. Those are just cupcakes. Okay, let's go to Inkscape so that you can see what it would look like if you do it there. So, I have Inkscape already open. I did it on this one already, but, so you see, here's our eye, here's our little pieces um, to fold, and then this was our little insert. So I'm gonna show you how to do that from the beginning. So I'm gonna grab all of this, and I'm gonna delete it. We're going to import our image, and it is my, I'm just gonna bring any of them in, okay. Click OK. So when it comes in, if you see it like this and there's no color, just because it's already selected, just click on a color. So now we see our C. So you wanna make sure it's locked. If it's not locked, it looks like this, it's unlocked. So you wanna lock it. We can just make this bigger so that you can see better. Then this is selected, right? So I'm gonna show you an offset and an insert. I don't know, inset, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna call it insert. So this right now is selected, right? So let's click in the white space to unselect it. Nothing is selected right now. We wanna click on the paint bucket, click a different color so you can see it. Now, grow or shrink. If it's a negative number, it's shrinking. If, it's a, if there's no, no um, sign in front, then it's automatically positive, so it's gonna grow. So I'm gonna do the grow, or I'm gonna actually do the shrink first. So let's say we do negative 10, just so you can see what that looks like. Hit the tab, and we're gonna do it on this C. So you see in the yellow, it went, it shrunk by negative 10. Now, conversely, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit the arrow key. This is selected, right? So same thing as before. We wanna select in the white space so it's, nothing is selected click the paint bucket, we're gonna pick a different color this time, a light blue, and instead of negative 10, we're gonna do positive 10. I'm gonna use it on this C, and you see it grew. It grew by 10. Um, now, if we wanted to do another one, we can. not So let's click on this arrow key. Again, this is selected. We want nothing selected, so click in the white area. We're gonna click the paint bucket. I'm gonna pick another color and we're gonna grow by 20 this time so that you can see the difference. I'm gonna click on the blue and it grew. So you see it's much bigger than this one, right? But now let's click on the arrow, click in the white space, paint bucket, another color, and this time I'm gonna shrink by negative 20 so that we can see what it looks like in here. So you can kind of see the difference between the um, growing and shrinking, right? It's the same concept. The only difference is you have a negative number for shrink and a positive number for grow. Now, the arrow key, you wanna select it again. This time, select everything. And what you wanna do is you wanna to go to Path, Object to Path, File, Save As. So I'm gonna do this as C, Offset, and Insert. 
and then let's bring it into designscape so you can see designscape design space so you can see what it looks like so let's go to upload upload image and we're going to browse and find the saved image that we just did so that was c offset and insert you want to save it then you want to click on it and you want to insert it and i'm just going to pull this all the way down so it's not in this um, six area just so that we could see it better Sorry, I'm moving it. Okay, and then let's ungroup this so you can see everything that we have. Now we only did it on one side, right? But you can just duplicate it. So here's this one. So if you wanted to do this one, you, you have that. And here's our offset. When we're doing block letters, you're, you're never gonna really need an offset because that would look weird. It would just sit over and then cover your block letters. So you would never do that. I'm just gonna delete that. But that's how you would bring it in. Um, if you like, if, if we're gonna do both of these, you can grab both of them, make a duplicate copy, and then you can just go to flip and flip horizontal, then it'll flip over and it'll fit in our front facing C because this is the back facing C, right? So now you have it on both sides, a double insert. <laughs> All right, so that was simple, right? I held off for so long not using Inkscape I still only use Inkscape for this, so it's not like I should be really patting myself on the back. But I feel like with an insert and the offset, it changes your project. It elevates it so much more. There's so many more things that you can do to, you know, with the colors and the different types of cardstock that really changes, enhances your project and makes it look so much more um, like extra and with finesse. So anyway, um, comments or questions, please post them. If you have a special request, let me know. Post it also, and then email me with all the extra details to an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. I'm here to help you. I know it's really hard, but um, you know, I, I definitely think Inkscape will change your game a little bit. So, and you saw that, that was easy. So just follow along, you can do it too. <laughs> all right, bye guys.